review on two different type of bottlers, cappers. So here's kind of the original style that I had, I got with the kit when I first started brewing. It works pretty good for a first, you know, first thing. And it's, it's relatively inexpensive, they're about 25, 30 bucks. So that works really good as a bottle capper to start out with. But now I've moved to this style capper. And one of the reasons I moved to this style is because, you know, you can use it for any size bottle. Same with this. Not going to really affect anything there. However, this is more of a one-handed operation. Whereas this one, you kind of have to have both hands push down and really steady the bottle. Whereas the bottle kind of rests on here. So you don't have to steady the bottle near as much. Another thing that I like is this one. You know, when you're putting the cap up in there, you got to get it up in there and then you got to crimp it down and then it pushes it up. Works about the same way. However, this one's right there. You can get the cap right up there. So like, you know, go like that. It sits right up in there. Whereas this one, I mean, it's not super hard, but you got to put it up in there and then to get everything lined up on the bottle is another story. Because then you put this and put it down there. And then you got to get it lined up because you could be tilted off to one side when you do it. You know, it's not, not quite as intuitive and as easy as this one. You just push down and you're lined up. So another thing that I like about this style of capper is I haven't tried it yet. To see if it actually works or not but typically when you're doing a home brew they say to use you know these non twist off type bottles and the reason for that is because you know it's hard to get a good crimp and a good seal around these other ones you know the, the glass up here is a little bit thicker on the non one non twist off and here you have a little bit thinner thinner glass so it's easier to break and also not all of the twist offs have this ring right here which is effectively how this style capper has to have that ring so this style capper clamps on the bottom side of that ring right like that that metal crimps right there to hold it whereas this style capper doesn't need that so if you have twist offs that you don't have this clamp ring right here you can still use them with this style crimper. Again, I've not tested that to see if it actually holds pressure, but I'm gonna try it with this set of bottles and uh, we'll see if it works. And if it does, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But I've been reading online, you know, the biggest issue with using the, the twist offs is the thinner, thinner glass on top and not having this ring here to actually use to crimp it down. So overall, I mean, both of them work. This one's about double the price, it's about 50 bucks, but it, it works a lot slicker and a lot easier, you know, one man operation and it's a little bit quicker. So overall, they're both good bottler cappers, but uh, make your own choice. But my, my preference is this one for right now until I uh, find something else I want to use. 